Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Today is National Watermelon Day. You know, we haven't been able to pick a good watermelon this summer. We've had like three that have been awful. You know, that's the weird thing about watermelon. You think you're getting a good one. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's really potluck, isn't it? It's really potluck. And the funny thing is, is Brian will stand by the watermelons and wait for like someone to come and pick one. And then he starts questioning <laughs> them how they know it's a good one. And have you always picked good ones? And la, 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 la. And then he'll three times. Failure. I always want to get one where one of the sides has like that um, rough brown. Yeah, like the yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be very heavy. Listen, we've tried it all. We haven't had a good one. Sometimes I'm pretty good at it, honestly. I've had more luck than, more good luck than bad luck. Nope, thumbs down. I don't know what's going on. Today is National Night Out Day. That is where the police go out into communities and uh, try to get uh, dialogue going and camaraderie. I love candy. that. I love yep. that. Yep, National Night Out Day. It is National Georgia Day, uh, where they celebrate the, the state. Yes, and it's National Grab Some Nuts Day today, Candy. Interesting. That Grab is the some nuts. That day. is the official name. Uh, it is, it is a nut day. You're supposed to find, uh, a nut that you like, Candy. Oh. Almonds, pistachios. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pecan. Uh, yes. Nuts are very good for you. Yeah. No, well, yeah, listen, uh, I love nuts. I love all kinds of nuts. And, uh, and, and today is National Grab Some Nuts Day. So we will, we will leave it at that. Um, some good news, and then we got to get back to a, a, a couple of things here. Just kind of wrap up the day. There's a lot to, uh. To recap, uh, today, uh, by the way, this Friday is National Root Beer Float Day. So A&W restaurants are going to give them away free, and they're raising money for disabled American veterans. I all, love that. All they ask is that if you go into one of their restaurants, you consider donating while you're in there. Let me there. tell you, I haven't had a root beer float since, I don't know, I'm 12 years old. Yeah, well, it's Been your a day. Long time. It's coming, Friday. Um, Did you like the picture I sent of myself at 23? Uh, on the radio, yes. At a remote. Let us hold hold that. Put put that aside. <laughs> That's one of the things I wanted to bring up. Ah, uh, a group called Regal Prosperity is running something called the Good Deed Challenge. They're paying people for being nice, so they're giving away a million dollars in prizes. Let me give you an example. A guy in Toronto already got paid forty grand because what did he do that was good? He helped a homeless guy find a job and get out of the street. You know what? That is something really good. So really, really good. You can nominate people or, or yourself by posting about a good deed on social media uh, and do the hashtag Regal Good Deed Challenge. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, and a mudslide blocked the highway in Colorado last Thursday. A bunch of people were stranded. So a guy saw a front end loader nearby that was uh, belonging to the Department of Transportation. He knew how to operate it. The keys were inside. So he hopped in, started clearing the road. Eventually, a full crew showed up. They were shocked by how much work this guy had gotten done. A cop wanted to arrest him for using equipment that didn't belong to him. But the crew said, please don't arrest him. This guy did so much good work. Please leave him alone. So they did not arrest him. They did him. not. They did not That's arrest right. him. They did not. Mm-hmm. So good. good. Good job there. Yes. So going back to something you mentioned last night, you sent me a picture. You were how old in this picture? About 23. And it was like a radio remote. You were yes. out broadcasting. My first job in radio was at WJLK FM in Asbury Park in New Jersey. And uh, yes. And what were you doing there? It was you and a friend. Who was that? Well, she was the promotion director. And we are leaning on a pickup truck that we were giving away. Uh, we used it for the entire summer. You had to guess how many miles we put on it to win it. <laughs> yeah, those were the days, my friend. And so every weekend we did remotes driving around, and it was it became like our pickup truck for the summer, if you get what I'm saying. That's a pretty neat idea. You have to guess the mileage on yeah, it. I like that. Yeah, we put on it over the summer, and then we gave it away at the end of the summer. That, and what t- do you remember the exact make and model of that truck? I know. I think it was a Ford, I think. I don't All really right. remember. Okay. All um, right. But yeah, that's that was what was happening. Remember, we had the little packs that we had to wear when you were recording on your little cassette thing. No, I'm sorry. That was before I got into oh, radio. Oh well, if you look closely, you'll see. 
because I'm going to guess, I'm thinking uh, we're about yeah, 14, 15, you were 23. I was probably about eight years old. When Nine, you were let's not push it. Nine years old. 14 that was, years between us. Candy, that was almost the time, I think I was like 10 when I heard you, <laughs> when my parents were driving me on the Belt Parkway and I heard you for the first time. And I said, I will work with that woman. So yeah, it was around that Isn't time. Isn't that funny? Isn't yeah. it? Wow. Yeah. Uh, how about your father and your mother? How are they? Everyone's fantastic. Has anybody missed me? Has anybody asked for me besides yeah. you? I, are they going to put me on the family text? I know. You th- have invited your father to the wedding. No, my, my, my father is not. You think I'm going to put him in front of that Delta variant at your son's wedding? Are oh, you out of boy. your mind? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, I hope your kids don't tune in, Candy. Because... Oh, but if, if Jackie's listening, mm. I'm, I'm a dead woman. Yeah. So let's recap, uh, the speed, since we're on this topic. Uh, if you're just joining us today, this is our first day back in about 11 days or so. Uh, Candy and I have already talked about her son's wedding, which I responded to. I got the invitation. I you couldn't throw it back in the mail fast enough with a no. I responded, we will not attend. Um, I, I have said, if COVID did not exist... Candy, my wife and I would be there. We really would. We would take a vacation. Beautiful hotel, it looks like. Really is beautiful. Um, I put a, a present in the in the response card for them to get their life started, Candy. Okay, they're going to... Very nice. All right. And um, so you have that. Then we discussed my vacation, had a great time. We were away. Um, and you also... wore masks the whole time. We wore masks. Because you could go to that hotel... Just not the one my son is getting no. married in. No, oh, wait, hold on. You you brought it up. Let me say Amy my piece. Amy brought it up, and you know I hadn't thought along those lines. So thank you, Amy. And I brought it up to you to show you why. What the difference is. I when I go to Mohegan Sun. Now look, if things get bad, I won't be going again. But when I go to Mohegan or anywhere for that matter. I am in control of where I am, who I stand next to, all that stuff. If I want to go to my room, sit out by the pool, go outside, there is a lot of social distancing. You'd be shocked at how easy it is to stay away from people when you're at the hotel. At a wedding, in a ballroom, with 150 people, let's say, and you know no one's going to have a mask on, and you're at a table with people, and there's dancing, and there's food, and there's candy. It is a different ball game, and you know that. You know that. Well, let me just say the wedding is outdoors, the Mm -hmm. cocktail hour also, and then, yeah, we'll be in a ballroom eating and dancing. (laughs) Yeah, of course you will. Uh, Most importantly, we found out this morning that your dog Tilly is healthy. Yes. Has been spayed. Yes. And uh, Listen, when I was pregnant, I thought I'll be the only woman in today's society that dies during pregnancy because it's very rare now. It doesn't happen very often, right? Mm -hmm. And, of course, I gave birth, and really I was a pretty good birthing machine. No problem, right? Same thing with Tilly. I thought she'll be the only female dog that dies. But, yes, everything She's fine. She is fine. Thank goodness. And, finally, today is my wife's birthday. We celebrate today. It is. We Dana six years younger than you. I'm old enough to be her mother. That's right. Six years younger and uh, retired after a 23-year career, Candy. You wouldn't have lasted the 23 years doing what she did. So kudos to Dana. That's right. Uh, So there you go, Candy. Have a great rest of your day, okay? You do the same. I'm going to reevaluate our friendship, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. No problem. Whatever you decide, I'm good with, okay? All right. You heard it here first, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen. This could be the final show. Enjoy the day. two of us (laughs) in love. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.